What is up guys, Cracker80 here, and today I'm bringing a quick video just talking about contracts in Black Ops 3. So what kind of inspired me to make this video was today's contract in Black Ops 3, today's daily contract, which is win 5 games. Now I'm sure a lot of my viewers would agree with this, and this is going to be my opinion, so you can voice your opinions in the comments section. Let's take one daily contract that Treyarch added into Black Ops 3, win 3 games in safeguard. Now if you're a casual player that's playing Black Ops 3 for fun, but still wants to get supply drops, this daily contract is actually very hard to complete, especially if you're a solo player. Now when a lot of these winning contracts come out, many people get into parties, go into that game mode, and win a bunch of games, and that usually works. In fact, that's what me and my friends do a lot. We get into a party of four or five people, we go into that game mode, and win three games really easily. But if I'm solo and I'm trying to win three games in Safeguard or Hardpoint or any objective game, it's going to be pretty difficult. The reason for this is you can just join any objective game mode lobby and you can join into the game and you don't have to play the objective at all. This significantly lowers the chance of winning for everybody else in your team and yourself. So if you're playing solo, you cannot count on other teammates to do well in the game and to actually play the objective like in Safeguard. And this usually happens. In Safeguard, there's usually one or two people on your team that consistently never escort the robot if you're staying in the same lobby. You'll notice it game after game after game. They'll get zero seconds on the robot and they'll just go for kills. And if you have people in your game not playing the objective, it's pretty simple. You're just going to lose more games. Now let's go back to my example with three wins in Safeguard. If you have teammates consistently not escorting the robot, you're not going to get that contract very easily. In fact, in my personal experience of playing solo with that contract, it's actually taken me up to an hour and 30 minutes just to get three wins in Safeguard. That's a very long time, and that's not what Treyarch had in mind when designing these contracts. What I'm assuming Treyarch wanted to do was to have a little challenge to keep people into the game, but also have it so that players will not get discouraged with really hard contracts. They want to make daily contracts available to every player playing Black Ops 3, and they want to make it possible to get for every player in Black Ops 3. So I can see why Treyarch would add winning contracts into the game, like winning 3 games in Safeguard or winning 3 games in Hardpoint. It's possible to complete this contract for the bad players, because they can count on their teammates to win the game for them. And the whole reason of this is basically Treyarch's matchmaking system for teams. If you're a pretty good Black Ops 3 player, your team is probably going to consist of players that are a lot worse than you just because of the team-based matchmaking that Treyarch has. So I recommend that Treyarch kind of changes it around a little bit. Instead of having these win 3 games in blank objective mode, you could have instead get 2 minutes of hardpoint time or get 2 minutes of robot escort time. This would get you more wins and it would also satisfy both the good and the bad players because they could do their own thing and it wouldn't matter if you won or lost that match. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this kind of rant video. Feel free to leave your opinions in the comment section and I'll leave the link to the Reddit post that I actually found uh, for the idea of this video. It's pretty interesting and there are a bunch of different opinions in it so I recommend you guys take a look at it. Other than that guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.